turning contaminated land into a money-making mining facility in Bay County. After the state gave the okay, a mid-Michigan city is expecting dozens of new jobs. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Meg McLeod. And I'm David Custer. Yesterday, the Michigan Strategic Fund approved a $164 million salt brine mining facility project that consists of six buildings. And TV5's James Felton has much more on this massive project. This is going to be a, a brine mining and purification operation. Bill Sungye talking about a new salt brine mining facility coming to the Bay City, Essexville area. The senior vice president for Wilkinson Minerals LLC told state officials how the company utilizes salt brine. We extract brine from uh, a huge underground deposit that the, almost the whole state of Michigan sits, o uh, sits over. We take that brine, which is primarily calcium chloride and sodium chloride, and we purify it uh, for use in various markets. The main markets being uh, ice melt. During the winter and for dust control in rural markets in the summer. Sung Ye said this location was chosen because of access to highway, rail, and water. And that's not all. We sit above the deepest deposit of this brine uh, in Michigan, so it's... Um, as you'd say, all, all, the, all the things came together to make this the, the best location for us. On Tuesday, the Michigan Strategic Fund Board approved tax breaks of almost $5 million to reimburse Wilkinson for its cleanup efforts on the site. This land used to be a PVS chemical site that was home to a sulfuric acid plant. In all, Wilkinson says this will be a capital investment of at least $168 million. We'll be creating... Um, right at uh, 80 ongoing jobs with an annual payroll of about $10 million. Uh, during construction, we expect uh, employment to hit about uh, 200 people. Once construction begins, it's expected to last from two to two and a half years. We appreciate certainly everyone in the area, Bay Futures, Bay City, Essexville, working with us endlessly on, on the development of this project. James Felton, WNEM, TV5. Those 80 full-time jobs created will come with an average hourly wage of $27 an hour, and we'll have more from Bay City officials and residents on this massive investment tonight on TV5 News at 6.